Half an hour north of Christchurch, surrounded by farmland, is the fruit of one family's imagination. It's a gift to cricket and those who love it. We bought, we bought this property, it was 100 acres to go up into the far trees. And we're coming in the far gate when my son Ben was about aged about 16. And this, between the far gate and here, was, the grass was three foot high, four foot high. And he said, why don't we make a cricket pitch? And I said, you're mad. 25 years on, Mike Dormer is still throwing himself into that madness, driven by what he believes young people can learn from cricket. And then I thought of uh, Rizengaris in Australia, and then I thought of Imran Khan uh, being in, and I thought, well, why don't we do something for youth? But if we're going to do it, we're going to do it properly. And back then, that meant involving the father of New Zealand cricket, Sir Walter Hadley. Dad was Mr Cricket uh, here in uh, New Zealand, and so to have Mike, who's passionate about the game, and have Dad's love of the game and full involvement, I mean, what a combination that could be. And it was very easy to uh, sort of sell the concept, if you like, to, uh, to other uh, people who love cricket, and so Dad became the figurehead. The values of cricket have been taught to us by Walter Hadley. That's, uh, that's what this ground's about. It, it reenacts, in some respect, what he taught us as youngsters. The Willows is Mike Dormer's love letter to cricket, with contributions from neighbours, friends and sponsors. Every weekend, high schools, state and private, come from all over New Zealand to play the Willowers, which are drawn from 170 or so members. And the Willows clubs made up of lots of former first-class players and senior cricketers, that, or good level cricketers, and they make up the teams against the first 11s. So they may turn up and years gone by played Richard Hadley here or Barry Hadley, or one of the Hadleys. And they see how it's played, and that's the purpose of the Willows, to see how you play at the highest level. Hence, you need umpires. So we have proper umpires, very good umpires who come out. It's done to the highest standards. You have some rules. Well, there's only one rule. The boys come, collar, tie, blazer. No earrings, bangles, beads, ponytails, or any, any, any crap. He's a stickler for standards too, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he is, he loves. Got to have high standards out here, but yeah. You don't mind that? No, it's good. Good. Got to enforce some things early on, but yeah. Always good to have high standards going along. And not once. I can promise you now, not once in 25 years has a school come here and not, not dressed correctly. Robbie's been a great mate, a great mate. Every visitor leaves with a life coaching kit, including advice on how to get a job. On the annual charity day, Santa throws sweets to the kids. And these mothers will say, oh, the, the sweets are not wrapped. And I always say, there's sheep shit with a little bit of black jelly bean goes down well. <laughs> it's just passion. Um, he's a stickler for detail. They have to wear ties. He frowns with earrings. <laughs> he gets annoyed at me when I turn up with my shirt out. <laughs> Tea is taken with a saucer, lunch on the lawn. There are boonie-like gnomes, and even the banisters play a straight bat. Everyone loves the ageless Energizer bunny behind it. Well, I've never known anyone uh, like him. I mean, he's out here. I mean, he, he used to prepare the pitches. He'd be on the mowers. He'd be cutting the, uh, the outfield. He's here, you know, um, doing all, making sure that everything's OK, that the ladies are making the tea, that the scorers are here. The change room is a place to linger and look up with great stories everywhere. There's a shelf for Dickie, Parky and Blowers and another for the homegrown greats. The tiny pavilion is a shrine to cricket's history and personalities. But this couldn't be Mike because he never sits down, except perhaps when he's out roaming the farm. The sheep guard the pitch clay. He's phenomenal. You know, his energy, his memory, all your names, for example, he remembers seemingly forever. And he spoke without notes for 45 minutes this year at the dinner, the 25th dinner. Former High Court Judge Nick Davidson took on the Willows presidency on the condition that female cricket be part of the Willows. Recently, two high school teams played. And my next step, I hope one day soon, there'll be women Willower teams here as well. And we've got rid of the idea of having women as associate members. They are members of the club, as I am as of now. Yeah. 
half Ashburton College. I'd like to thank the Willows for hosting us here today. Um, well, well done. Yeah. Peter, thanks. Keep, just keep in touch, okay? Yeah, for sure, sir. Well done, well better. Keep in touch, all right? Yeah. You get heads down and bum up. Yeah. Right. See ya. Good luck. Now, where's the umpires? Mike's hospitality right, is inexhaustible. Oh, I think I'll pull. Have the we pulled? No, I'll come back for in two weeks. Just how much he's willing to help is something a few visiting boys will never forget. Get yeah, you, want, you need a haircut. <laughs> yes, yes. Anybody got a pair of scissors? <laughs> hey, or Dad would be pleased with me. Oh, yeah. Dad would be pleased. Yeah, he'd be looking good. <laughs> 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 <laughs>